Hello, welcome to Furious Driving, and today I am at Maidstone Tire and Exhaust Centre, and I've brought a very unfortunate, irritating car. Yes, the Alpha 145. Proud to be sponsored by Diamond Bright, the car care products that have been keeping the Furious fleet looking their best for a long time already. To find all you need to keep your car clean and protected, follow the link below to diamondbright.co.uk. Well, I'm over here filming in the corner by the wall of exhausts because there's lots of copyright infringing music over in the workshop, but basically the Alpha is now on the ramp. And have a look underneath. What's happened since we've had the car back on the road after its recent MOT is that my repair on the back of it is not lasting very well. And it's blowing somewhere from the front of the manifold, which was an advisor on the MOT, but it has got worse to the point that you really can't drive the car because the smell of the exhaust is now getting into the car which is not good. I'm, I'm going to define that as generally not a great thing. So what they're going to do is build a new exhaust for me. You cannot find these things off the shelf for love nor money in standard form. The only other option really is to spend big money on something like a Ragazzoni system, which is going to cost you, I'm guessing somewhere around 800 pounds by the time you've got all the accessories and bits to make it actually fit. I don't want to spend that kind of money on a car which constantly breaks. Um, the only thing I do with that car is fix it. I'm, every time I'm, I drive that car, something else snaps off and I have to go and spend money to repair the damn thing. Looking at the old exhaust, you can see it's a bit of a Frankenstein system, bits and pieces cobbled together. The hangers don't match up. There are hangers where there aren't hangers, but at least looking around the floor of the car, it is a nice solid chassis, which is a bonus, I guess. So what they're gonna do is make their own system, but less Frankenstein-y, this time using some off-the-shelf alpha parts from a later model, and then some parts just custom cut and used off the shelf. And we're gonna try and find a tip that matches the one we've got on the car right now. So it looks cool with an end of the 90s, early noughties oval tip on it. That should look pretty cool. Let's leave them to it and see what happens. So our old back box with the repair bit on it. This is the old rest of the system. And this is a new one. But this is basically the same floor pan, doesn't it? The same pressings. That's a brand new Stones box. Oh, nice. Is that just a generic one or is that off a particular car? Yeah. No, it's just one of, we, we get in and oh, we okay. another mugs. So. Oh, fair enough, just like a generic off the shelf kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Manifold has been resealed and uh, tightened up. They've changed in the bolts, so hopefully we've got no blow just there anymore. Sounds good. The front section to the cat remains original because that was all all right. This section here is from a Fiat Bravo now, which is the same size and shape. You can tell it's the same floor pressing basically, just fits straight in. But then it gets different at the back. So we've got a uh, custom made bit just here, stainless back box. They fitted a nice little oval tailpipe just here. The whole thing looks amazing. It sounds nice and elegant. It's got a little bit of a rasp to it still, which is good. So all told, I am very happy indeed with the state of this. Excellent. Good times. And the car still looks nice and rust free after all this time. So amazingly good times indeed. So I'm now leaving Bower Lane Tire and Exhaust, Maystone Tire and Exhaust, Bower Lane Tire and Exhaust. I don't know which name they use most of all, but either way, they did a fantastic job. They've pretty much hand built an exhaust out of off the shelf and custom parts for this thing. So now it does sound a lot more, a lot more dignified and civilized. I did really enjoy the raspiness of it, but that was basically an indication that it was broken. We 
still got the uh, T-Spark buzz just there, but we haven't got the blast and the faff from the front, and we've not got the faffity noise from the back now. It's far more civilised, and I'm really enjoying the fact I'm not suffocating anymore. That's also an amazing upgrade. So this car is now a whole bunch better to be in. I've got a couple more jobs I need to be taking care of pretty soon. The air conditioning is a priority because it's yeah, stiflingly warm. Cars like this were kind of designed to work with the air conditioning working and the ventilation systems don't really do enough if you haven't got the aircon functional, unfortunately. Oh, got a green light, wow, who knew? Accelerate for the green light and you've got a queue immediately behind it. Excellent. Oh, this is so much more civilised. And also the horn has stopped working again. I don't know why. Bad, well, I do know why. It's bad earth. It's always a bad earth. Oh, this sounds so much better. Huge improvement on this car. Oh, your, your neck has just come off the chopping block again, Alpha. By dint of not being killing me. I had considered going for a full-on sports system, like a Ragazzoni thing, but as I said earlier, it's going to be about a £1,000 by the time you've bought all the bits and had it you know, put on all the extra bits to actually make it work. And yes, it will sound nice, but then you take it on a long drive and God, that gets annoying. Maybe I will regret that in the future. Maybe I'll decide like, further down the line that I wish I had done that. But for the moment, I'm just very happy to have a car that sounds good and that tailpipe, that stainless exhaust box looks absolutely fantastic. And that tailpipe looks really nice too. Well, here we have it. We've now got the same T-Spark sound at the front of the car, but without the blowing raft. The raft did sound quite good, but it was killing us. So it's probably best not to have that. Around the back though, we have got lots of cobwebs on the car actually, bizarrely. More of a, a dignified kind of a burble rather than the rasp it was before. And if I if I pop the camera down and give you a couple of quick revs of this. We've still got a nice crackle, but yet it doesn't have the horrible kind of rattly fartiness of the old rusty exhaust. This looks much nicer on the back and that stainless rear can looks so, so cool down the back. I'm very happy with this. A massive improvement to the 145, making it a much nicer thing to be in. So thanks very much indeed guys, Maystone Tire and Exhaust for sorting this out. Custom one-off, half stainless, half, well, non-stainless standard. Just using what they can to keep the cost down and make it as good as possible. Really good. So yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you like the Alpha, then there'll be more Alpha content coming soon. So make sure you like and subscribe and join me again soon for whatever's coming next. Take care everybody, I'm off to go Alpha Ring. And the Draper Universal Cup Holder is still doing sterling service here in the Alpha. I'm not sure what the part number is, if I can find it I will link it, but this is doing extremely good work in all my cars really. The Alpha, the Rover 200 VI, the Crown Vic, everything, oh the Volvo as well, it's, uh, it's universal.